Morning, my name is Ryan Bumber. I work for Crowley's Yacht Yard Lakeside. I just want to spend a little time this morning with you all, uh, talk about proper tool usage. Uh, mechanics of boats tend to be a little bit of everything. We're riggers, we're plumbers, we're carpenters. We kind of do it all because you kind of have to in a boat because the engine is, as they say, in your living room. Uh, so we have a wide variety of tools today. I just kind of like want to talk a little bit about tool safety because the safe way to use a tool prolongs the tool and prolongs the life of the operator of the tool, such as myself. Uh, I just want to help you guys so you guys get the right tools for the right job that you need to do. Your safety is very important to me, just like my safety is very important to myself. So, what I want to do is try and give you some information about how to be safe on your boat while you're working on your engine. Uh, first off, your engine has a lot of moving parts in it. Uh, you might be taking some apart. That is what they call spring-loaded. And it tends to have parts fly around the engine compartment. <laughs> so, safety glasses are always important. I would say anytime you open up your engine compartment, it's good to wear safety glasses. I want to talk a little bit about your hands. Uh, some people don't like wearing gloves, some people don't mind. Uh, I was a firm believer of I don't need gloves, my hands I can, I, I can just dig right into it. Over the years, uh, I wish I had used gloves. They have all kinds of different gloves. Uh, Nitro uh, makes really good, strong, heavy duty gloves. Uh, they're very easy to get on and off nowadays. Uh, and they have a nice gripping feature on them that makes you feel and move parts very easily. You gotta remember, you're working with an engine that can have high fuel pressures. You're working with gasoline engines that have ignition. That's a spark. That's electricity. Uh, with fuel vapors, there's always a possibility of a fire, explosion of any sort. So it's good to be very, very safe. Always know where all your fire extinguishers are. Uh, it's good to have one, one close by when you're working on your engine. Uh, I don't want to make scare you, but there's always that possibility. You never know. So you might as well be like a Boy Scout and be prepared. Well, let's talk about electrical work. It's always good to have yourself a nice pair of cutters, nice smooth blades. Uh, if you have a good pair of cutters, Keep them well oiled and I do not cut wire rope with them. <laughs> do not cut stainless steel rope with them. They are only for wire. There's all kinds of fancy tools. There's really nice wire strippers. This is by Anchor. They make a great pair. It's that simple. Very easy. Very efficient. I can cut many, many wires in a very short amount of time. Get yourself a nice, good, sturdy, heavy duty pair of crimpers. You can make nice double crimps out of them. That's exactly what you need in a boat. Filter wrenches, There's all kinds of filter wrenches. There's strap type filter wrenches. They have strap adjustable. There's claw type filter wrenches, which are really, really nice. When do you use them? I'm gonna tell you, only on removing the filter. I do not wanna see marks from this on a filter someone just installed. Because these little teeth will leave little imperfections in the wall of the filter and will cause it to leak. The reason I don't want you to use a type of wrench, even this is a non-marking wrench, to tighten the filter with because you'll actually over tighten the filter. And over time, as the engine gets hot, cold, hot, cold, it'll actually work harden itself into the engine. So, do not over tighten your filters because then it becomes more of a pain when you have to remove it. On the same token, before you put that filter on, make sure you put some oil on that O-ring. It's all kinds of torque wrenches. This is the click type. Here you put a socket, you put it on something, and as you move it, it goes click, click, and that will tell you when you have your setting. This is my favorite torque wrench. It's the most accurate compared to this. These go out of adjustment all the time, so these have to be recalibrated. These very rarely go out of adjustment. They only just need to be checked once in a time. And basically all it is, 
the socket, the leverage, and then there's a, the beam. And the beam swings over depending on the load that is put on. Uh, in a little bit, I'll actually show you the proper way of using this. All right, so that about wraps it up, and I guess I'm done here, uh, but not quite. Uh, stay tuned, look in the future. I'll be sending you some more videos your way. Hopefully these videos help you out in the future and helps you out on a nice boating season. Have a good day.